another video for you today. Today's video is really, really simple. But we gotta pay attention. Pay attention! Today's video is stomp on the ankles. Every opportunity you get, you must take advantage of working on the low line portion of the body, which is the ankles. To another level. The shins and the ankles is always available to you, but we get so caught up in striking and wanted to hit the face that we don't even see it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Kenny, come in here. So now, if the man throws, let's say you're working off whatever, guy's off a head hook, guy throwing the hook punch to the head. As you block the hook punch to the head, most of the time you always wanna keep engaging because you know the other hand is gonna come and this hand is gonna come. So you keep on doing blocking, blocking and worried about up top. But you never think about guys that when this man is punching rights and lefts, that at some point you got the ankle is right there for you to step on. The ankle, you move, you stomp on that ankle, or you kick that shit out, and you stomp on that ankle. Guys, the ankle is available all the time, but you don't see it. If a man bear hugs you, body hugs you, most of the time, you automatically start going into all the, your movements, head biting, biting, you can do all that. But at the same time, guys, no one, no one, no one is worried about their ankles. So when you man grabs you and you get your balance together while he's trying to lift you up, now he's trying to lift you, stomp on his ankles. Stomp on the ankles. That is going to bring him down. It's available to you, but we don't see it. You're dealing with a chokehold. These are common things you always you do different. I mean, choke them, choke, choke. You start working up top. First thing you do, the first thing you're gonna do is grab the hand. But guys, after you grab the hands, after you grab the hands, if you're not, if you're not clear the headbutt, then stomp on the ankles and then blow the shit out. If he's against, if you're against the wall while he's choking you. Look. Where's his ankles are gonna be? What could he do with his ankles? He can't do anything with his ankles. They're there. If his hands are here, his legs gotta be somewhere there. What's he gonna do? Can he stretch your leg all the way back? All the both of them. Who's gonna do that? No one's gonna choke you like that. No one. He has to be, he's so angry he's doing this. And you, all you could do is think about his breathing. But if you can lock those arms either by holding it down or locking your arms together, so now when you lock your arms together, you can headbutt. You gotta do that immediately. Or he's when you lock his arms, he's gonna headbutt you. So you just lock his arms in, lock your arms in, headbutt, and then stomp the ankles and then blow the shit out. The point that I'm making is that the ankles will always be available. But do you see it? Do you see it? If a man ever throws what we call a number two strike, can you get over here? Man throws a number two strike at you, and he's doing this. He's doing this number two strike. When you're blocking this, where is his ankles? It's right here. So if he's coming from the outside, give me the one into two. He's coming from here, and this don't work, and then he decides to like loop under and he come here, his ankles are right there. You might not see it when you did this, but you know if you step and step, the ankles are there. But if you don't catch it there, and he comes on the other side, guys, how can you not stomp on that ankle? It's right there in front of your face, but we don't think about it, we don't see it. We are so programmed in our society to head hunt, go for the face, the body shots, throw elbows, lock up, head butts, do all of this. But we don't think about the ankles. Everybody is walking around with freaking flip flops on. Think about the ankles. They're there. Use them. Ankle shots. Turn his focus. Stop on his ankle. 
Hook punch. Change the focus. Skip. Stop on the ankles. Put it into your, put it into your mind. Put it into your arsenal. Put it into places for you to attack outside in the real world. Because it's so damn available to you and nobody could do anything to stop you once you are focused on the ankles. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Once he puts his hands on you, his ankles are available. Once he touches you, his ankles are available. But are you, are you skillful enough? And can you master your emotions enough for you to understand that is a viable option, just as good as punching him in the face, stomping on his ankles. If you gave me a choice to punch a man in the face or crack his ankle, I will take that because some guys can take a punch in the face, but I don't know anyone that could spare when you stomp on their ankles. Can you take a knee, please? One knee. I don't know anyone. Come on out here. I don't know anyone when a man is like this that you can stomp on their ankles and they can survive that. They can't. They can't. Anytime a football player gets hurt, big old 255 pound linebacker get hurt, they take his behind out because once his ankles are done, that's it. Go after the ankles. Take advantage of it. And remember, remember, guys, we put together a package in our university. Go into the university. Click on the link that's in the corner. Go into the university. Research. Grab that package. Guys, if you like this video, guys, if you found value in it, please drop us a like right now. Make sure you click on your notification bell, guys. Smash that subscribe button, guys. And don't forget, share the video with as many people as you know, guys. Thank you very much. Peace. To another level.